we want to start writing our markdowns over here but how we are going to transform everything into JS components or how we're going to render this dynamically for doing all this stuff Gatsby has different plugins okay so the first plugin that we need to install is the following one okay once everything is installed we have to config our plugin and we are going to do that through the config file of course let's create our Gatsby config.js and we are going to export a JSON file which it's going to handle the whole configuration for Gatsby plugins and since I don't remember everything that we have to set up I will copy it from the documentation um, in this case we are saying okay the following plugin which is the file system receives two options one is the name and one other is the path this is because through this plugin we are going to query the file system and what we are doing here is okay we are going to query the following folder which is this one um, npm run develop and I will show you right now what we can do with this plugin let's go to GraphQL let's see what files we can query uh, from the source folder I guess we can yeah there I press control space and I have all these options over here let's go yeah to the first one all side page all directory all file um, let's play okay we are getting data from our our file system but it's not super useful right because we have something that's called node and an ID let me see if we have more data extension yes and we also want to get the size maybe in a pretty way yeah okay here we have more things let's see how we can use this, inf this information in our component for now we are going to use our index and um, yeah let's remove this component and also import graph QL from Gatsby then we can also export const uh, query which is going to be a graph QL query and the only thing that you have to do is and I already told you that it, this is going to be super useful you copy the query that we already test yeah, I have a small thing over there uh, let me write prettier once again yeah now we have the query but how we can use that information I mean all this stuff in our component we can do that using the data property um, yeah let me write once again layout and now let me see what can we do okay we are going to get data all file edges so let's write some JavaScript data all files edges and then here we can start mapping things let's do a map open spread our object to get to the data let's close that let's close that um, I think now we will have access to all the properties let's use the h1 to get the I don't know the relative path Uh, this is no actually props okay that uh, data is not defined really okay the problem is that GraphQL is with H 
yeah let's see if this is working now still not let me check here the graphy ah, because it's all file I guess changing that should work now yes okay yeah don't see uh, the styling because it's pretty pretty bad but actually we are querying our file system and we are getting data let's continue in the next video